Hi guys, uh, today I'd like to share with you uh, my favourite card trick of all time. It's called Sam the Bellhop and it looks something like this. You see Sam truly was a gentleman. He had his own little place just around the block from the 654 club. You see Sam was having a really quiet night right up until the big doors opened up wide and in walked four gentlemen all dressed like kings. They said, Sam, we'd actually new in town. Is there somewhere around here we could find a few lovely ladies just to keep us company? Sam said, well, guys, it's a little bit early, but I will have a look. Now, Sam being the true gentleman he was, Sam walked no less, Sam walked one, Sam walked two, and Sam walked a total of three blocks. He said, guys, I did say it was a little bit early. So the best I could find was a couple of redheads and a couple of brunettes. They said, Sam, where on earth would you find a couple of redheads and a couple of brunettes this beautiful this early in the evening? He said, you wouldn't believe it, guys. They were in the 654 club just around the block. They said, Sam, you truly are a gentleman, sir. Here's a $2 tip. Sam said, thanks. Now, it wasn't long until the kings and the queens, they got a little bit bored. They said, Sam, we fancy a game of poker, but is there somewhere around here you can actually help and find a few extra players just to keep us company? Sam said, well, guys, it is a little bit early, but I will have a look. So Sam being the true gentleman he was, Sam walked no less, Sam walked one, Sam walked two, and Sam walked a total of three blocks. He said, guys, I did say it was a little bit early, so the best I could find was four fellas, but they're all called Jack. They said, Sam, that's absolutely incredible, sir. Where would, on earth would you find four fellas all called Jack at this time of night? He said, you wouldn't believe it, they were in the 654 club just around the block. They said, Sam, you truly are a gentleman, sir. There's another two dollar tip. Sam said, thanks. Now it wasn't long until the kings and the jacks realised that the queens were far better at poker than they could ever be. You see, the kings and the jacks were pretty much broke. They said, Sam, all we have left is a $40 check. Is there somewhere around you who could actually change it for a couple of 20s? Sam said, well, guys, it is a little bit early, but I will have a look. So Sam, being the true gentleman he was, see, Sam walked one, Sam walked two, and Sam walked a total of three blocks. He said, guys... I did say it was a little bit early. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anyone with 20s. But I did manage to find somebody who had four tens. They said, Sam, you truly are a gentleman, sir. There's another $2 tip. Sam said, thanks. They said, Sam, you seem awful young to have a place of this quality. How old would you be? He said, well, I'll let you take a guess. They said, oh, we estimate your age to be, I don't know, maybe 38. He said, you're close. I'm 39. <laughs> They said, do you live upstairs? He said, no. He said, I live just down the road. They said, whereabouts? He said, oh, 1328 West 9th Street. They said, Sam, that's a beautiful place to live. Sam said, thanks. They said, do you know anything about poker, Sam? He said, well, I play once a week. They said, where do you play? He said, oh, the 654 Club, just around the block. They said, have you seen any nice hands there lately? He said, nice hands. He said, you wouldn't believe it. He said, last week there was a guy there. He had three sevens with a pair of eights. They said, Sam, that's a full house. He must have won. He said, no, the world champion, he was there. He had three aces with a pair of nines. They said, Sam, that's a huge full house. He must have won. He said, no, my friend Lance, he's a magician. He was at that table and I think he cheated. They said, why? He said, because Lance won with nothing less than a straight flush. And that, guys, is the story of myself and Sam the Bellhop. And I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I, well, I hope you all have a great day, guys. Uh, all comments are welcome. And thanks very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.